Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If your Yuzu emulator gets stuck on the loading screen or just keeps showing sorry an error occurred without launching your game, you are not alone. In this updated 2025 guide, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step fix to solve the infinite loading screen bug in Yuzu. This works for Pokemon Scarlet, Zelda TOTK, Smash, and many more. Why it happens this issue usually happens due to one of the following. A corrupted qt-config.ini file, broken or outdated NAND folder, incomplete firmware installation, missing shared final bin, or switching between early access and mainline builds without cleaning up. Let's fix it step by step. Step one, open Yuzu emulator. First, open Yuzu emulator. To access the NAND folder, or you can get by, open app data, pressing Windows R on your keyboard, and type C users, your name, add a ration, raster, roaming Yuzu. Then hit enter. Step three, delete config and cache inside the Yuzu folder. Find and delete qtconfig.ini, the entire shader folder, optionally the cache folder too. This resets all your broken settings and clears old shader files. Step four, fix NAND. Now, go into the NAND directory located here. C, users, your name, Adjo, roaming Yuzu. Back up your existing NAND if needed, then replace it with a fresh NAND dump from your switch. You can use lockpick or hecate to extract it. Step 5, reinstall Firm2. In Yuzu, click on File, Install Files to NAND. Select your official firmware file, usually named like firmware1701.zip or a .nc folder if unpacked. Let it install completely. Step 6, Vaporage System Files. Inside the NAND sys folder, make sure this file exists. If it's missing, extract it again from your firmware dump or check your installation steps. Step seven, launch Yuzu. Now restart Yuzu, run it as administrator, and launch a game like Pokemon Scarlet to test. If everything was done right, the loading screen bug should be gone. And that's it. You fixed the infinite loading screen issue on Yuzu emulator for 2025. Let me know in the comments which game you were trying to launch. And if it still doesn't work, drop your Yuzu version and Windows build. I'll reply with a custom fix. If this helped, give it a like, subscribe for more quick fixes, and I'll catch you in the next one. Keep visiting ROMS HQ for latest game and updates.